welcome to our comprehensive exploration of Amazon Recognition, the cutting edge image and video analysis tool that's revolutionizing industries worldwide. In this series, we will delve deep into the practical hands on aspects of Amazon Recognition, showcasing its capabilities and demonstrating how it can be seamlessly integrated into our workflow. Join us on this journey as we explore the myriad applications of Amazon Recognition. Let's go to the official page of AWS and explore recognition. This is the dashboard of AWS. Here we can see recent activities, recent services we have explored, applications that are currently running and in which region of the world, and many more things as we scroll down the window. To access recognition, we can just type recognition in this search box and we can see here is the Amazon recognition page link. Or we can click on the services icon and scroll down and click on machine learning. If we scroll down a little, we can see recognition. Just click on it to open the page of recognition. This is the official page of recognition as we can see basic information about the recognition displayed on the right side of the page. If we look at the left side of the page, we can see various options to click on. For the time being, we will click on the facial analysis and see what option it has. In this section of recognition, we can get a complete analysis of a facial attribute like smiling or not, eye positioning, age and many more like. We can also see the requests that have been made for this image and response that came for it. If we click on response, we can see we have a JSON type file in which every detail is written. Here, we can also upload an image or give a link to an image to perform this analysis. Let's move on to the next part of the video in which we will use APIs of recognition for facial analysis. For this, we will need two things. First, Amazon S3 bucket that is a storage on AWS in which we will store our image that will be used for analysis. Second thing we will need is a Lambda function to trigger the process. To access the S3 bucket, we just have to type S3 in the search bar above. And here we can see the link to the S3 button. We'll just click on it to open the page. This is the official page of S3 bucket with the basic information like benefits and features, use cases, and etc. For the time being, we will click on this create bucket button to create our bucket. It will ask for the region, and there are many available, but we will choose Northern Virginia. We will name our bucket Kanish Bucket. There are more options available to choose from. But we will click on this create bucket button and leave everything as default. As we can see, this bucket is created. Now it shows region in which this bucket is created, that is US East Northern Virginia. The access of this bucket is not public as you can see. And the creation date and time is mentioned here. Now we will click on this bucket to upload our image. There is an upload button, we will click on it and it will redirect to the page on which we can upload our image. Now, I will drag and drop that image to this page to upload it. As you can see, I have uploaded my image and it's a JPEG file. I will click on upload to successfully upload an image. Here you can see upload successfully. Now, I'll show you the image what I have uploaded here so that it can be easy for us to understand how this facial analysis work. I'll click on open and it will take a couple of seconds to open this image. Here is the image that I have uploaded here. Now I will close this window. Now I have to open our Lambda function. I will type Lambda here and click on the link of the Lambda function. Here I can see basic information that we saw on the S3 bucket page also. I will click on the create function button. I will name my function recognition demo and I'll choose Python for the runtime. I'll click on create function button to create our function. It will also take a couple of seconds to finally create our function that we can use. As you can see, successfully created the function recognition demo. As we scroll down, we can see a code editor in which we can write our code. I'll just zoom it in for you guys. 
For the time being, we'll click on configure and permissions to give the permissions of S3 bucket and Amazon recognition. As you can see, only Amazon Plot Watch logs permission is given. Now we will click on this link under the role name and open it in a new tab. This is the IM management console. Here we can see only one permission is given. We will head to the right of the page and click on add permissions and then to attach policies. Here we have 219 policies. We will search S3 and see Amazon S3 full access. Here you can see more, but for the time being, we will click on this checkbox and now we will type recognition to provide the API of recognition. We will check the box having Amazon recognition full access and click on add permission. And here you can see policies have been successfully attached to the book. I will go to my previous tab and refresh it. Once it completely refreshed, I'll scroll down and here you can see our Amazon recognition and Amazon S3. This Amazon S3 Lambda is created by default. We will go to the code and once it's opened, we will type our code here. There is a default code given here, but I have a pre-written code. Here, I will copy and paste my code so that it can be more easy going for us. You can see a Boto3 library which we have additionally imported. This API is the API of recognition as we can see Boto3.client. We have created a function called Lambda Handler and we have passed two parameters, events and context. And here you can see S bucket. This is the name of my bucket that I have already created. Now we will go to our S3 to check the name of our bucket that we have created. As we can see, the name of our bucket is Kanished Bucket. We will switch tab and rename it to Kanished Bucket. Next thing we have is image. Let's just recheck the name of the image. As you can see, the name of the image is demo underscore image, and we have written it correctly. Now we have created a variable which is result. We have given API that is a variable we have created previously dot detect faces. Detect faces is a pre-built function in the recognition to detect faces in which we have passed images and in that we have passed a dictionary. And in that dictionary we have given two things. First is the bucket name and second is the name of the image that we have given. In the last, we have given attributes to all. Now, this is done due to one reason that there can be many attributes like age, gender, smiling or not, etc. We have given all so we can see everything that an image can contain. In the next line, we have given a loop. Loop is for the reason that one image can contain multiple faces and those multiple faces will be stored in face details. That's why we have used a loop. We have written for faces in result. Now result is storing everything that we have predefined and face details is a function of recognition and in the body of the for loop we have passed a print function in which we have dumped faces into the JSON file and we have given intents equal to 2 to keep the track of everything. We will click on deploy to deploy this function. For this we have to create an event that we will name as demo event. We will keep everything as default and click on save. Now our event is created and we will again click on test. It will take 2 to 3 seconds and here you can see our results. We can see range, smile and value given to it. We have eyeglasses, sunglasses etc. New things that we will see here is confidence. Now, confidence refers to how accurate the model is. Higher the confidence, higher will be the accuracy of the model. And if you scroll down, we can see many things like gender, beard, mustache, eyes open, mouth open and everything like this. And there you have it. We have just explored the amazing potential of Amazon recognition for the face analysis. We saw how to leverage S3 Lambda function and recognition itself to see the power of the same. Remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Recognition offers a wide range of possibilities beyond face. 
from object detection to scene analysis and more. So explore, experiment and see what you can create. Stay tuned for more videos like this. Feel free to leave a comment or join the conversation if you have any questions. I hope you enjoyed this hands-on exploration of Amazon recognition. See you in our upcoming videos.